It still is the calm before the storm in most of our viewing area. But at 8 o'clock tonight, Manatee County officials ordered everyone to either be at a shelter or shelter in place. Brad Carter joins us now live from one of those shelters tonight with more on the people there and what they're experiencing. Hey, good evening. Yeah, this is Onico Elementary School. Just a few minutes ago, all of the lights went out. That's because it is lights out. These folks are all in bed right now, sheltered here in place. There are about 600 people inside this particular shelter. It is at capacity, and a lot of the shelters across the uh, Manatee County area are as well. 19,300 people are sheltered right now, and guess what? There's still room for even more. As night falls on the Onico Elementary School shelter, we have every available room that uh, is taken up. We have people spread out in different areas. People settle in, unsettled by the scary reality in front of them. This is my section. Leopold Perez brought his family here to keep them safe. I feel safe, safe here, and I think it's a better place to stay. And he's not alone. So did Leo Watts. At first, he wasn't afraid, but that changed. They pack our stuff and go and leave. It's not, it's not really safe. Sylvia Gonzalez has seen her fair share of fear. Her family is in Houston right now. They survived Hurricane Harvey, and now it's her turn facing Irma. Oh, my God, my daughter's up there, my sister, my brother. They got hit with it. How are they doing? Well, the best, um, they, can. The best they can. My sister's roof was gone. Here with the family atmosphere as they all bunk down for the night, pillows and cots and pallets in place, waiting to see what tomorrow holds. What's on the horizon? Right now, about half the shelters throughout Manatee County are uh, full. As I mentioned before, there's still uh, about 10 or so that still have uh, some uh, room for you if you'd like to go there. For a complete listing, you can just go to the Manatee County government's Facebook page. And one thing that they stress that they definitely need are volunteers to man all of these shelters. Guys. You said there's 19,000 people in shelters in Manatee County right now. Are they allowed to leave, Rod, or is there a curfew? There's not, there's not a curfew in place. They can come and go. Again, they're, they're in for the night here, but people are not under a curfew. But it is important to mention that the Barrier Island, that has been blocked off unless you actually live there. They are blocking it uh, at the, the bridges and checking IDs to make sure that people actually live there. Those folks who decided that they were not going to evacuate. Did they have a TV or a radio just to keep informed on where the storm is and what's going on, Rod? Do you know inside if they have the ability yeah, to do that? The, oh, here? Yeah. They have, yeah, they have everything here. They're definitely okay, covered. They have television, the whole nine yards, and they are actually feeding everybody. So, yeah, they're taking care of all of the folks at the shelters here. Okay, good. good. Rod Carter, live in Bradenton. Thank you.